Hello everyone, I am Shivam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. As you have seen from the title of this video that we will be learning about equilateral triangle. So first we will learn what is an equilateral triangle and then we will move to its perimeter area in circle and circum circle. So without wasting any further time, let's begin with our topic. For an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal and, and as well as all the angles are equal and each angle is equal to 60 degree. If I denote this side as A, this side as B and this side as C, then I can say that for an equilateral triangle A is equal to B and B is equal to C and all the angles that is angle A is equal to angle B which is equal to angle C and all of them is equal to 60 degrees. Now let us find the height of an equilateral triangle. Suppose the sides of this equilateral triangle is equal to A and the height of the triangle that is AD is equal to H. Since for an equilateral triangle the altitude that is the height divides the base into two equal halves, so I can say that BD is equal to DC and DC is equal to A by 2. Since this is a right angle triangle, so we can apply the Pythagoras theorem on it and upon applying it will give that h square plus a by 2 whole square is equal to a square. Now upon solving it will give you that h square equal to a square minus a square by 4 which will give you h square is equal to 3a square by 4. And finally, taking square roots on both the sides, we will get that h is equal to root 3a by 2. Now, upon taking square roots on both the sides, we generally get a plus and a minus sign over here. But since the side of a triangle can never be negative, we will take only the positive part. I hope that you understood how I applied Pythagoras theorem to find the height of the equilateral triangle. Now, if you have any doubt on how I applied it, then I have made a separate video on Pythagoras theorem where I have explained clearly about this topic and I have provided its link down in the description. So, after watching this video, you can go check that out too. Now, the next topic that we have is the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. The perimeter of the triangle is basically the value of the sum of its sides. So, if the side of an equilateral triangle is A, then the value for the perimeter is equal to 3A because if all the sides are A, then A plus A plus A 3 times will give you 3A. So, the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3A. The unit in which the perimeter is measured is generally centimeter or meters. Now let's find the area of an equilateral triangle. So for this equilateral triangle too, let's take the sides equal to be A. Now the area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. So the value of the area of an equilateral triangle is half into A into root 3 2 A. So, upon multiplying these three values, you will get the final answer as root 3 a square by 4. Thus, the area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 a square by 4. Suppose in a question just the value of the height of the equilateral triangle is given, then you can directly write the value of the area as h by root 3. The units in which area of a triangle is measured is centimeter square or meter square. Our next topic is incircle of the equilateral triangle. So the incircle of a triangle is basically the largest circle you can draw, keeping the center of the triangle as the center of the circle. So once again the definition of the incircle of a triangle is basically the largest circle you can draw 
inside a triangle keeping the center of the triangle as the center of the circle. Now for this case we can see clearly that OC is the radius of the incircle. So let's take OC as small r. The radius r is called as the in radius of the triangle. The center of the circle is called as the in center of the triangle. For an equilateral triangle the value of r is equal to root 3a by 6. Suppose in the question just the height of the equilateral triangle is mentioned then you can directly write that r is equal to h by 3. You can remember any of these two values and find the other one by just putting the value of h in this case and value of a in this case. Our next topic is circumcircle of an equilateral triangle. So circumcircle of a triangle is basically the circle which passes through all three sides of a triangle. The center of the circumcircle of the triangle is called as the circumcenter. And the radius capital R of the circumcircle is called as the circumradius of the triangle. If the radius of the circumcircle of the triangle is taken as capital R and the side of the equilateral triangle is taken as S, then the value of R is equal to S by root 3. If in the question just the height of the equilateral triangle is mentioned, then you can say that R is equal to 2H by 3. For this case too, you can remember any of these two values and find the other one by putting the value of S in terms of H in this case and putting the value of H in terms of S in this case. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the concepts related to equilateral triangle and if you have any doubts then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. I have also provided the link to the official website of ASIN Academy down in description so you can go check that out too. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.